Hi guys, it's Molly and welcome back to another one of my soul vlogs. This video is the fourth part and it begins with my visit to a raccoon cafe which was actually right near my university, Sukmyung. I have never seen a raccoon before so this was a very special experience for me and I've come to find that they are so cute. You got to play with all the raccoons which were kind of just running around the floor of the cafe and also had their special room out back where you could go and feed them and stuff. While I was in Korea, I also went to Myeongdong a lot. Myeongdong is a fashion street with lots of large chain fashion shops like Etude House, uh, Uniqlo, Lotte Mart, H&M. It's got everything there in this one street. Another good thing about Myeongdong is that it had a lot of street food, which were all really cheap, and there was a huge variety. I had a lot of different stuff, stuff from like grilled cheese, crepes, cakes, chicken. My favorite was the tornado potato, which was like a huge french fry, but there were some also not so delicious foods. Blood sausage. This is this hellish looking. I don't even know what it is. Okay, Amy, go for it. I think it's evil. <laughs> she looks upset. She's like, I don't know what I just put in my mouth. That looks like I regret my decision. I regret, but I'm gonna pretend it's good. <laughs> it's alright. It's okay. <laughs> what, does it taste like meat? There's like little rice noodles in it. Does oh. it taste like someone's child? <laughs> Does it taste like death? You wanna try it? I don't wanna bite it. I don't wanna bite it. I don't know how I feel. I know it feels weird, doesn't it? Like I'm scared to bite I I don't know what I'm eating. <laughs> I don't like what I'm eating. I feel like I tried it and I will never have it again. <laughs> Amen, sister. I can just imagine this is gonna taste rank as. Okay, here we go. It's okay. Tastes like sadness. Hey, so we're going to the Dragon Hill Jujinbang today. Jujinbang is a Korean spa, and I'm, go I'm here with all the ladies. Ladies, are you excited to get naked? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> see, they're all thrilled. And we'll show you around and we'll see how it's like. When we went into the Jimji Bang, you have to put your shoes in the lockers. Then you get to go to your gender segregated floor where you strip down completely naked and then you're able to go into the baths. They give you this waterproof bracelet that you use to buy things and pay for stuff like massages while you're there. The entire experience though was very interesting to say the least. Oh my god guys, Jujinbang today was crazy. I have never seen that many boobs in my entire life, or vaginas for that matter. It was just so interesting to see like all these women just walking around absolutely buck naked, like with no shame doing their hair and makeup, just walking around, doing their own thing, completely in the nude. Like there is nothing like this in Western culture, like no bathhouses or anything like this where people strip down. It was just so crazy and <laughs> we got over it pretty quick. So overall, I think it was a good experience and I totally recommend it to anyone coming to Korea just to try it for the cultural experience of being very naked in like public because it's something that, <laughs> that you don't get to do every day. 
As part of my uni program, they took us to Gyeongbok Palace, which is one of the most beautiful palaces I have seen in the entire of South Korea. And it's right in the middle of Seoul. And here you have the um, princess who lives at this Gyeongbok Palace. Okay, alright. Like, alright. That's where I live. Hello MTV, welcome to my <laughs> The palace grounds themselves were huge and it was so beautiful. Was so many beautiful buildings and architecture. Also, there were a lot of young Korean couples all dressed in their traditional clothes, taking photos, which was very cute. And here we have one of the last things I did while I was in Seoul, which was visit the Coex Aquarium. This aquarium was one of the most biggest malls I've been to in my entire life, Coex Mall. And it had so many beautiful fish and aquatic animals to look at, including these particularly furry fish. This aquarium was definitely a must visit for me. And that pretty much brings us to the end of my time in Seoul. I hope you've enjoyed these vlogs. This visiting South Korea was one of the most fantastic experiences of my life. And I totally recommend everyone to go there at least once. It is amazing. If you've enjoyed my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.